For more, let's welcome in Jason Brady. He's president and CEO of Thornburg Investment Management. Did I get that right, Jason, in terms of how you're looking, uh, looking at the balance sheets? Yeah, look, you're looking at a market which in 2021 um, was much more concerned or interested in, in multiple expansion. And in 2022, is returning to the idea that earnings have to support that multiple expansion. And, and frankly, in 2021, earnings did support a lot of multiple expansion. It was, it was a great year for earnings. But what we're seeing today is companies across a number of different sectors. Obviously, we can talk about Netflix, but, but frankly, some of the banks are disappointing on earnings. And that's creating a, a weight uh, and a move from kind of a hopes and dreams market to maybe more of a where's my cash today kind of market. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the names in particular that you would like here. And I mean, you know, not that earnings season isn't a big driver, but it's been incredible. You go back to J.P. Morgan or even Jeffries before that, where we're seeing very large, 8 percent, 10 percent, obviously Netflix, even more of an outlier. Right. J.P. Morgan is an interesting is an interesting name. They I wouldn't say they disappointed on earnings exactly, but what we started to see was the effect of some wage pressure on on their margins. And that is going to be something that we're going to see moving forward for across a number of different companies that rely on skilled labor. JP Morgan is, however, one of those beneficiaries of higher volatility in the form of what I would view as a time that trading revenue is likely to go up, a disappointment in this prior quarter, and obviously rates rising, which is something that I think is also uh, going to be a future of the markets going forward. Netflix, a really interesting one. Um, Netflix is one of those where you wonder if correction is, is a great, uh, great term. I'd rather be buying Netflix here than Peloton. I mean, frankly, the Netflix chart looks like a good Peloton workout, whereas <laughs> Peloton chart looks a whole lot like a, a, a cool down. Yeah, it looks uh, like a right run now, I want to be Netflix on, yeah. is Right, exactly. Netflix is valued similarly to Disney, which seems much more reasonable than trying to put a multiple on negative earnings.